Hello there. I am gonna do a quick review on a what is this one? Reese um, rooftop bag with an internal frame. Um, hadn't seen many on the on the nets about it, but uh, I did some research and found this one, and uh, I really like it because it will. It has a frame on the inside, so when you're putting luggage in it, you can actually. You know, you don't have to worry about fighting the bag to put things in there. Um, and then the frame is also collapsible. So when you're not using it, if you're going to leave it on the vehicle, you can just kind of pull the rods out, fold the arms down, and um, strap it flat. So, you know, it's not bulky riding around empty. I bought it like the day before we went on a two-week trip to New York to visit my wife's family. And... Um, attached it to my wife's little Jeep Renegade and uh, gave us a lot of extra room from the back and made it a little more comfortable and not having to cram so much stuff in the uh, actual vehicle, especially the, the gear that we weren't going to use on a daily basis. Um, like if we were just making a couple quick stops overnight, things like that, I could uh, keep access to that daily stuff, but put the stuff away that was going to be until our final destination away. So it was great. Um, it is made of... Uh, you kind of see it in the background. It is made of a very thick, very thick vinyl that this thing has been through rain and even snow. Down here in South Carolina, we don't get it very often, but it, it held up to the snow with that internal frame. I didn't see any sagging, collapsing or anything. I've already taken it off the vehicle just now because it was easier for me to handle and kind of hold a camera and talk beside it versus climbed up on top of my, my wife's Jeep. So, um, Without further ado, let's dig into this thing. So, as you can see, it is open right now. And it has, you know, this very thick vinyl that will, the cover, the zipper that zips all the way around. It's a double zippered, so you can zip it either way, left or right. I always, just personal preference, I do it to the, the back of the vehicle instead. But um, the Velcro will cover top there and hold it up. There's Velcro there. And these straps here kind of just strap through here and back down to kind of keep it from flapping and kind of keep it tighter. All right. There is a door like this, a zipper pouch on both sides. So you can access it from either side. You can see what the front looks like. Reese carry power. If you needed, there are some uh, tie downs on the top here. So if you had a little something that was lightweight, I wouldn't put anything too heavy on there, but you could strap something on the top of here too because it has that internal frame. A couple buckles, I uh, have some more straps on the inside of my shop somewhere. I'll try to dig those out to, to show you. Let me show you what the bottom looks like. Those, uh, those are the mounting points to your crossbars for your vehicle. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Didn't zip it, so it should be just... So it has um, this kind of like cloth cover. These undo that. That covers the, the bar system. There is a... Let's see if you can see it in the shadow. Just like a buckle clip right here. There you go. That you unclip. It's definitely, it's both the same on both sides. I'm not actually going to take apart this frame uh, because getting the frame in there is a little bit tricky. But uh, once you get it in there, it's, it's easy. It has a bunch of these, um, these like push buttons there that these bars will slide out. Um, so you have two pieces from here forward with this arm that'll fold down. I'll show you in a minute. And then from here backwards, the same arm, just a little bit taller for the back side. And then these are separate. And um, when I got mine, I bought it used off of somebody off Facebook. I paid 40 bucks for it. So I think it was a great find. But um, um, like there was some on these, it was like the holes weren't drilled, but they were drilled on the wrong side. So I just took a drill and drilled a hole so that I can get these push things, latches to come through. I don't know what that was about. I wonder if that's why they sold it for so cheap. They couldn't figure it out. I don't know. Um, you see these rust spots. Whenever this is collapsed, 
I did um, it did puddle because like it held water on top of on top of the vinyl, um, and then there was water on the inside. So that's the only time that I actually saw water on the inside of this uh, cargo bag is when I had it collapsed and it rained. Um, it collected water, but since it's been up, there's been no issues. Like I again, I, I drove with it from here to New York, and there was some a lot of rain. And when we got where we're going, everything was still dry on the inside. It was the rain occurred when I was home after New York, and for the past month sitting on top of the the jeep just doing nothing so um that's that's when that happened but there are there is a lot of room you just kind of uh put this this piece of uh fabric back over and uh velcro it here because it kind of covers the bar and these uh thumb screws you know you just tighten that around the your your crossbars around your vehicle and this just kind of separates the crossbars and the bottom of the bag from your your luggage and one more clip here like I said, I'm not going to uh, take that bottom frame out but I am gonna keep it intact I'm just going to uh, collapse it and put it in storage instead of keeping it big and bulky like this let's see if I can uh, turn on a light to show you so this is the front of the bag so what will happen is these bars these crossbars that come from front to back I'll pull those out and then this arm will just fold down and if I turn around show you the same on the back pull the arms out and then those uh, those uprights just fold right down very simple um, very simple now let me uh, pull these arms out and show you how those work Let's see if I can do that so this first one I have is, it is tricky because I broke it and uh, it doesn't go in like it's intended, but it just kind of clips on. I'll pull it out and show you. So this here, it just kind of has that clip that'll clip around the front and the back of the bar. Okay, it's probably about three foot long or so. I don't know the exact measurements, but the, the thing I broke about it, see this, it's supposed to, uh, um, is this, no, this is the other one I broke. So they, they, you push, you've got these push pins here, push pins, you push them in and it collapses. So when you collapse it, when the bag is closed, it looks like this. When the bag is closed, you just throw this inside the bag and let the top fall and that's you have everything with you uh let me pull this one out but it's supposed to let me show you how it sets up so you're supposed to kind of set it up like this you'll push the bar in clip them in and then you'll push up in the middle just kind of push from the bottom up and those those um those releases will clip and and lock it in place so it doesn't collapse on you let me get this other one out this is the one that I broke completely on accident all it is is one of these uh, push pins that broke off when I was trying to close it I really don't know how I did that because I think it's supposed to design to be pushed in um, just like it like I was trying to do but uh, regardless close that push that in close that one and this one Shove that in the bag and there is no push pins on these back bars so they really just kind of fold down and just pull it out and then the same thing on the front just pull it down and you collapse it i'm gonna uh, zip this closed and kind of straighten it up and show you how i kind of strap it in pause a moment all right and we are back so um real quick when i bought this thing i bought it like i said the day before we went on a two-week trip installed it mounted it to my wife's vehicle and um really didn't have a good chance to read the instructions but uh i just kind of winged it but i have it folded down the same straps that i use to to hook in when it's open 
just kind of stretch over to this top part and I just kind of to keep it flat and so it's not flapping about and I just kind of tucked it in neatly there um, when I when I just did this just now I kind of had the brief thought and I said if I would have taken time to do it like this when I was in New York maybe it wouldn't have held as much water but I kind of just strapped it down real quick and uh, didn't didn't think twice about it but uh, I mean as you can see it's very flat very flat so when I was driving around with it not in use um, up in New York I, you know created less wind and less uh, noise so it just it was a lot nicer that you know is able to do this I really like how it has the frame on the inside it collapses this very thick vinyl to help keep the the weather out and I've looked at other bags. My dad's given me bags. It was just a bag and no frame even, you know, it was just a, one of those old bags. And, you know, I'm like, well, you have to put your stuff in a trash bag to keep it dry if it rains. Because if there's no rain and it's clear force gap pass for your whole trip, then you're no worries. But then it also kind of sits on top of your vehicle. And I didn't like that because I don't want, you know, sliding around or all that weight on the vehicle itself it's not necessarily might not be designed for so I like this one because of the frame that I can just put on my crossbars and um, it's off the vehicle thicker vinyl helps keep the water out and uh, it, it's collapsible I was previously looking at the, the cargo boxes you know with the shells and but those don't collapse and I like this one because again like you see it will fold real flat I can put it in storage and it won't take up a lot of space I'm going to try to see if I can find the other straps and figure out what those are supposed to do real quick so that you can see all the features of the um, of this bag. Hey, so real quick, uh, let's, let's find it. I did find those straps I was talking about. Uh, go figure, they were in the trunk of the vehicle the cargo bag was on. Um, Who would have thunk it to put it with the vehicle where the rack is? <coughs> Excuse me. So I thought I'd show you them real quick. So there are, there it is, four of these long straps. I don't know how long they are exactly, but just uh, nothing on this end. And then about halfway around, not halfway, it's got a clip there. So you can strap it on. Another clip there. Um, I really don't know what these are for. I know I can't put my hands on the instructions at the moment, but uh, I, I wonder if this is used to strap the bag to a vehicle that does not have crossbars. Sorry for the loud truck. Um, if you've seen them, I used to have one that like you strap it through the, open the doors and strap it through the vehicle and it kind of like hangs over your head inside. But some, I wonder if that's what that is for. Um, if not, then, you know, if you're, know something about strapping you can strap it on somehow else to use it uh, this other one there are four of those if I didn't say that already this other one here has uh, has this clip here and it, it just goes to a dead end on both ends there's nothing else um, again not really 100% sure what this is for either uh, the only thing I think I could use it for is um, because it will clip it won't clip it doesn't clip there so again, not really sure what that's for, but they did come in the box um, with the uh, the uh, the package as I bought it. Um, it was not brand new, the box. Uh, I mean, it was had a bunch of spider webs and things in it, but um, the guy said he only used it once. So I'm not really sure what that's for. I think I'm just, I think I'm missing the clip. If anything, I think I'm missing the clip because it would make sense that you can clip this down. Um, to kind of so it doesn't flap up while you're driving so i thought i had everything but i guess not anyways i'm gonna let you go thumbs up subscribe if you like i don't do this regularly like i mentioned don't do it for the likes or the monies but uh i like to know if, if people are watching thanks bye